Ingen hier ohne ihn. Oh, nee, da habe ich keinen Bertil. Da ist alles. Oh, und ich hier ihn. Da habe ich keinen Bertil. Da ist alles schon. Oh, alles. Nee, da habe ich keinen Bertil. Da sind doch nicht in der Wahl. Da hast du gar nicht eigentlich gepostet. Da sind doch nicht in der Wahl. Da sind doch nicht in der Wahl. Nach Romania, nach Hinsch, war natürlich mal eine Kolonie, noch 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 Well, I think I think communities communities tend to be self-defining. So, for example, there were the people who who emerged, the travellers, the settlers who came at the end of the last ice age, and then there were Iron Age people, there were Bronze Age people in certain areas. Um, there were the Gales, there were the Irish, you know, missionaries that came up from the west west side, the west coast, and so on. Um, there are the Norse invaders, many of whom in these islands settled and became permanent communities. So population change is, is one measure of the, of the health of a community, the vibrancy of a community. If, as if, if we go back to the, the mid-1800s, um, there was a much, much bigger population in the islands and islands. But they were squashed onto tiny bits of land that were non-productive and they were at the edge of productivity and they, it, they couldn't survive. But that was with the mindset of that particular time. That could have been solved very, very quickly by actually breaking up some of the land and making new croft land available, for example. If you look at that in a, in a bigger context, it's exactly the same just now. You know, crofting is now uh, a much more secondary, a much more subsistence way of agriculture now than it was in our parents and our grandparents' time when it was much more, people were growing much more of their own food, much more of their own livestock and so on and so forth. Um, and so people sometimes are a bit doom and gloom at this. It's all, going, it's all going down the way. Things can change very, very quickly. And so the idea of actually people moving back to change and take, take ownership of these areas is much more positive, I, I feel. There has a perception developed that the, the northern and the western islands are remote from things because there's a larger population further south and people think that it takes a long time to get there. But the idea uh, that it's a world apart and this became, this became quite common in, for example, Victorian times because the, the, the early gentlemen travellers, and they were largely gentlemen, who they came here, they were rich enough to be able to travel, and they travelled around, um, and they had to, they were, they were shocked by the, the, the lack of houses, the distances, the, the, the sheer grandeur of the landscape coming through a place like Glencoe, or seeing the cliffs of St Kilda, it was totally beyond their experience, and so they magnified the, the, they exaggerated the differences that they found here to make them appear to be great explorers and have visited all these far foreign lands. And many of those, as they came, people like, people like um, Dr. Johnson, for example, when he toured the Hebrides, Johnson didn't have a word of Gaelic. Yeah? And yet he made judgments about what he saw and what he came across um, because he was dependent upon what people told him. And yet from that position of ignorance, he developed his own theories. And because he published and talked and went back and spoke to many people there, that became a received wisdom. And that was, that was what's largely behind the whole cult of Highlandism, this romanticization of Victorian times and the, uh, the, the, the Glen, the Monarch of the Glen and all these things, you know? It's about making that perception. Whereas people who have lived and accommodated that change within these communities have a deeper perception of that. Feels 
kom en by det han er helt i en næst Så han er klod, er påstegen der? Er påstegen, ja. Der er påstegen, har jeg There's a term in Gaelic, Buntinus, where it says belonging to the land. You belong to the land. You don't just happen to live in it. You have roots there, you have a history, you have a pedagogy that goes back and you learn about the place. It's about space, place and grace. And grace not in the religious sense, but in the sense of awe and appreciation of the beauty of a place. Mm -hmm. Now when you know the Gaelic place names of this area, it begins to become a living map to you because it describes the colours of places and the hollows and how wet it is and how narrow the glen is or how deep the valley is and so you understand it becomes a 3D map that is not just a topographical map but a map that is rooted in the history of people who have gone before you. What you begin to realise is that change is inevitable. Change happens all the time. It's how we respond to that change that is important. We now have things like University of the Highlands and Islands. We now have telecommunications that allow, allows me, for example, to sit at this desk and work around the world. But from here, from Lewis, from the west side of Lewis, it's about understanding what you want from the future and what you don't want from the future. So the population will change and will grow. Um, hopefully there'll be people coming back in there. But there'll be new generations of people coming in here. You know, and, and these communities here, for example, we have we have people that have come from Latvia and Lithuania to work on the fish farms. We have we've got people coming up from England. We've got um, neighbours I have got who are from Iceland who come and live in within these communities. There, it's a much more mobile society. But that idea of being able to combine the ownership of the land with the ability to make changes that you think are appropriate with your community together with the people who want to be there. I want my neighbours to be here. Not, I don't want them to be here because they can't be anywhere else. You have to choose to want to be here. And if that's the case there, th th there's an untold potential ahead of us. Here he is. Electricity on the Hush. Oh, I'm electricity. 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 I'